So first of all, I want to quickly apologize for my sick voice. I tried to put off making this video until my cold went away, but it's as persistent as A24's good movies are, so stop screaming at me. Oh, but I guess that gives you a little bit of a spoiler as to what this video is going to entail. I'm talking about Problemista, obviously, and I really, really loved this movie. It is just so cool to see A24 finding all these people who can take these topics of X, Y, and Z and make them into not only a very fluid and awesome way for a viewer to engage with them, but also make them mystical and whimsical and just usually pretty funny. I am a born and raised American citizen and I've never really had to struggle with any kind of cultural difference like that or you know I never had to earn my citizenship or anything like that so seeing this movie I couldn't I guess connect to the main character in that regard but the movie shown me different kind of struggles and stuff that I didn't even think about because of my privilege to not have to think about those things. Julio Torres is just a gem in this movie from writing and directing and just genuinely is acting being very very good obviously the history in comedy probably helps that as most of the jokes are very well timed they land really good and the movie knows when to include a joke when to be serious and just overall this dude knows how to write his comedy it's a weird side note i mean i've never seen someone that's almost 40 years old portraying someone that's that young in such a realistic and like non-stereotypical way and tilda swinton also just carries this movie too like her supporting acting is oscar worthy i would say and the constant sway of emotion and just the consistency that she had in the character like without break is just so good now obviously Alejandro and Elizabeth are the shining stars of this movie and if there wasn't a single other cast member in this movie I think it still would have been just as good but even with that notion the whole cast did do really good and weirdly enough I think my favorite cast member was Isabella Rossellini the narrator of the whole movie this is the story of Alejandro he immigrated to the most competitive place on earth to become a world famous toy designer. I just, I love the voice and I love the delivery. It was just, like I said, just with Julio's writing, the, the comedic gold there and the timing was just so good. I really was looking for flaws to give this movie and the only thing I could think of was like pacing, but even with the pacing, I think it was very intentional in the style of the movie. It's this very weird and edgy movie that, that really fits with what it's trying to do. And so I think the pacing is even, you know, spot on for the theme that it's trying to go for so i don't know i don't dare to give my first 10 out of 10 but probably this is probably the closest that's come on this channel no you know what fuck that i'll uh i'll give probably to the first 10 out of 10 on critical chris it's right up there with everything everywhere all at once and a24 is just so good at what they're doing and i'm so excited to see the future movies but truly to julio torres for writing and directing and being the shining star of this movie i mean fucking nailed it man such an awesome movie and the reason that i titled this video that it's so good it's actually bad is because I think it shows so many problems in various parts of like the American system and the American dream obviously this one in specific a little bit more adjusted to like coming over to America for citizenship and whatnot I think this movie just delivers it so awesomely and shows the problem so vividly that it shows how bad it is for for our society 